What's up, everybody? It's your man, Lukey, and I'm about to talk about Wild Hawk Golf Course or Golf Club. I'm not sure exactly how they say it. But one thing I'm learning about Sacramento Golf Courses as I'm playing more Sacramento Golf Courses is there's a variety, right? So you got the Ansel Hoffman and the Hagen Oaks, almost forgot that, which are more the players' courses. These are going to be not as much architecturally interesting as they are. Can you hit specific shots? Uh, the greens are challenging. It's going to be more of a player's design to make you have to see how low you can score. It's going to attract a certain type of player. Wild Hawk, I kind of put into the Timber Creek group of golf courses in the Sacramento course. And I know people want me to do my Sacramento best of review kind of vlog, but I haven't played all of them. And it's unfair to all the courses if I haven't played them. So I'll do that when I've played them all. But I, I put Wild Hawk in the category of a Timber Creek where it's very fun and enjoyable, but it takes into consideration the average golfer more than it does the elite golfer. And I'm kind of fond of golf courses like this. Wild Hawk, each hole is named which is something that you normally see at a country club or these very exclusive clubs that we see on televised golf. It's a golf course where it's very wide open. There's a few ball holes where you could lose your ball, but really it's a wide open course. And I feel it's built for golfers who are at any skill level. They have a tee box that has very, very short tees. They have the tips, which aren't that long, but they're long enough to create a challenge. It's a course where you go out and you go to have fun. I was impressed at the design of this course. I was just impressed with the way it played. You know, this is another course, not unlike Poppy Ridge, which is in my uh, review from last week, not a lot of shade on this course. So if you play it in the afternoon, especially in Sacramento, it's gonna be very hot. But I have nothing but glowing praise for Wild Hawk because I found this to be a really, really fun golf course. I wish when I was young and I was kind of attempting to golf, but I never really took it too serious. This would have been a great golf course for me to get my bearings with because it had a lot of elements to it. I think that this is a great golf course to bring anybody to because the culture of the golf course I think is very cool where it's very welcoming and you get a mix mash of uh, all different ranges of skill levels. And I just love seeing that because oftentimes golf is very much, uh, can you shoot this score? Or can you be like this guy or can you be like that guy? And I just, I enjoyed the Wild Hawk experience. I loved the finishing holes on the back nine. I think it's a really great course. I'd say take between eight to 10 golf balls. The fee is very reasonable. It's between $24 to about $60. I can't recommend it enough in terms of if you just want to go out and play a fun course that has some interesting holes, go for it. Be sure to bring your Gatorade or water or whatever you need when you come to Wild Hawk, especially in the afternoon because it is hot and there is not a lot of shade. First hole, straight away, par four, very gettable. I actually hit a low runner that really went out there. It hit this up ridge that I didn't document very well. Sand wedge in, put it to about 15, 20 feet, and we were just rushing to get off. So the first hole, you're not really gonna get to see it. That's just the way it is. Second hole, a little bit trickier, par four. Missed the tee shot because I was setting up the tripod. The front nine was my back nine on this day. Gap wedge, just not finishing my swing at all, just kind of pulling through the shot. Pull it over there and then just bail myself out with a really good chip. Oh, give it to me again. And put that to a couple of feet, make it, we get out of the hole. What This is what a lot of wild hawk looks like. There's a few dog legs, but this is just the standard. Wild Hawk. There's some bunkers. There's some trees. I tried to get that really, really out there. The Sapar 5. I know that I had the length where if I caught it, I could make the hole very easy for me. This was kind of tricky because I didn't set on a line to get out. So I basically lost two strokes just in the trees. It's a little frustrating, but I'm trying to work on my mindset with golf. 
Um, once again, alignment really, really bad on this day. I find I'm learning, th thankfully through filming myself, I'm learning my really bad iron striking days are also coinciding with bad alignment days. So they go hand in hand. So I think what I'm learning is check my alignment. This is gonna be case in point, not that anyone tunes into my vlogs to watch this. This is really, really bad alignment. I'm like aimed at a Christmas tree really far away and just hoping to tug the ball to the left, which is not, don't do this at home. The hole itself is a really cool concept though. There's a creek all the way down the left-hand side. Just a fun, cool par three. Really Wild Hawk in general to me is a very underrated golf course. And it's a golf course that I, I would use the word family fun. It's a family fun course because it's not just about uh, the elite golfers. It's also about just regular people could go here and have fun. Putted that through the break. It might have even broke the other way looking there. Just a little. It, keep in mind, it's almost about 100 degrees out. So I think that also when you start playing and you hit that dog days of the afternoon, Sometimes your game goes to the dog days of afternoon. Four right, but that stayed in play. This is a drivable par four. It's like 280 yards. Oh Missed God. that outright. Really hit a good 60 degree wedge. There was a little bit of wind and it just caught it at the very top and spun back into the bunker. Hit that bunker shot and got that to about three feet. Made my par, let's go. Now this, I, I'm trying to on every round hit my three wood off the tee and be a little bit more conservative, play, play my tee shots to get myself in a position to make a good approach shot. Don't just try to hit my driver as far as possible, which tends to get me in trouble. So this is, once again, no divot, just not really picking the ball very well on this day. There's mild hazards there's a bunker far right there's a bunker to the left so you can see the wind is whipping a little bit and then i hit a good chip got up and down this is probably my least favorite hole in golf the 200 yard par three maybe this was like 185 190 i do have a shot for it but i really hate shaping shops for it and this did not suit my eye it was like a cut and it was very narrow and i ended up just smoking it over the green had a delicate flop shot to get back and i just i can then here's my plan part when he sank one shout out to my boy heck he got that just don't really enjoy these type of holes they're just not very fun that was such a bad swing and i'm really trying not to do that so basically on this hole it's just a short par four i missed that drive then i smoked my three wood and it's just so disappointing when I put myself in positions where I can't have a shot at approach on the green. And this is what it looks like. This is actually one of the more gettable holes. I, I would consider this a birdie hole. And I basically, through lack of concentration and a lack of mental toughness, I just was unable to capitalize on this because I mentally broke, put a bad swing on it. Not a very good 60 degree wedge in, and then just have to fight for bogey home hole ninth hole reminds me of it in its own very way the first hole at tee throw two tiered hit a really good drive got kind of unlucky it ran into this upslope did my poppy ridge pop fly three wood and it doesn't really harm me here then once again not a very good iron strike just coming up and out of the swing swinging my whole body into the iron just very ugly but that's just strictly my own fault didn't work hard enough didn't do enough to do anything better so it's just on me it doesn't matter and really interesting last hole on the ninth hole at wild hawk almost sank that thank you for watching this vlog i appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video this is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.